Oh. Hi everyone, I am Admin and here is my friend Ira. So you guys will be seeing us these beautiful faces throughout this documentary video. So this documentary is video titled Be Factors of Active Melting and Boiling Point of Water. There will be an interview conducted by one of our group members to see how much people know about melting and boiling point of water. Yeah, I'm so excited. So I'm sure you guys are excited too, right? So without wasting any time, let's jump into the video. Good morning everyone, I am Dinang Lee, a reporter from MP03 TV. Today I'm going to ask a few questions from students from Unimas about what they know about melting point and boiling point. Come on. Hello kids, can I ask you a few questions? So what's your name? My name is John. So John, what do you know about melting point and boiling point? What I know is, is about temperature. What solid to become male? Okay, thank you, John. So, what's your name? My name is Brazi. Okay, Brazi, what do you know about melting point and boiling point? That was so funny. Yeah, they're so funny. So, Adeline, what did you get from the video just now? Hmm, I think. Hmm. We all know melting point of water is defined as a temperature of which a substance undergo change from solid to liquid at zero degrees Celsius. For example, ice cubes quickly melt when taken out from the fridge. In contrast, the boiling point of water is defined as temperature of when a substance change from liquid state to gas state at 100 degrees Celsius. For instance, water rapidly turns to water vapor when it reaches the boiling point. Under different circumstances, every substance boiling and melting point change. Usually, when the boiling point increase, the melting point would also increase but because the water is a special element, when its boiling point increases, the melting point decreases. So, what is the factor affecting the boiling point and the melting point of water? So firstly, we will be discussing on pressure affecting melting and boiling point of water. So let's watch it! Good morning everyone! Good morning! Good morning. Uh, how are you guys today? Good! So, I am your new lecturer for today. So today we are going to learn a new chapter that is how pressure affect melting and boiling point. So now let me give you one example. So this is a mountain. We all know down here the pressure is high and up here the pressure is low. So when pressure is low, the melting point is higher. Higher. So that's why. Uh, so the energy needed to break break the bond between the molecule uh, is higher. Oh Am yes, I? that's right. Yeah. Thank you, Ranti. So we're going to proceed with boiling point. So this is a mountain. The pressure down here is high, high. but up here the pressure is low. low. So. For example, this is molecule of water. Down here, the molecule of water is like this. But up here, the molecule is uh, more further from each other. This, uh, this is because boiling point up here is low. So when the boiling point is low, the energy required to break the bond is low. 
So this will make the transformation of water and liquid to gas more easy. Okay now Aira, the thing that I got from the scene just now was the higher the pressure, the higher the boiling point but the lower the melting point. Oh. Now we will be discussing on the next factor which is the intermolecular forces. Hi everyone! Do you know how intermolecular forces affecting melting point and boiling point? Let us tell you something. Okay, just imagine about marriage concept. The stronger the relationship, which is at S, Intermolecular force, the harder the bond to break and it is a lot of heat and anger which is demonstrated as the melting point and boiling, boiling point. point. Weak intermolecular forces would take less energy to break the bond, causing the melting point and boiling point to be low. So, as the conclusion, the stronger intermolecular force, the higher melting and boiling point. So that's it for that's now. It. Bye! So the conclusion from the scene before is the stronger the intermolecular forces, the higher the melting and boiling point. Yeah, so now we are almost at the end of the video. So the last factor affecting melting and boiling point is size of molecule. Good morning, Professor Ayu. My name is Matilda. I'm from Hayachi. Can you please uh, explain about size of molecules affecting the melting point and boiling point? Good morning, Matilda. Oh, size of molecules. Size of molecules is one of the factors that affect melting and boiling point. You know it, right? Yes. Okay, so larger molecules have higher melting and boiling point because of the force of attraction between bundle walls and it has more electrons in the molecules. Here, water is an incredible small molecule when compared other molecules. Its approximate diameter is 0 0.275 nanometer. Even though the size of water molecule is small, but the hydrogen bonding uh, that exists between the molecules of water cause the melting and boiling point to be high. Is there any Van der Waal forces? Yes, the Van der Waal forces is exist between the millions of separate water molecules and not between H and O atoms of the water. Thank you professor for your time and sorry for disturbing you. Oh, welcome. There are actually more factors affecting melting and boiling point of water. Yeah, I know. But actually, we only pin out three of the factors in this video. So that means we are actually at the end of the video. No, it's the end of the video. So hopefully you guys gain knowledge from this video. See you guys next time. Bye-bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe.